Did you know Tesla has a supercomputer so powerful that it tipped off the power grid in Palo Alto? The truth is most people don't, and this supercomputer may just be Tesla's best kept secret. As the AI revolution continues to explode right before our eyes, most gazes are fixed on companies such as OpenAI and Nvidia, but the truth is, the electric car maker Tesla may actually be the current leader in the arbitrary AI arms race. While they do operate within a completely different industry, Tesla does possess and continues to build out perhaps the most sophisticated real-world artificial intelligence network currently in existence. And this insane technology is made possible by their state-of-the-art AI training supercomputer, Dojo. Welcome to my channel, TFC Tech, where we discuss fascinating topics surrounding science and technology. Today, we're going deep on Tesla's secret AI training weapon known as Dojo, and break down what it is and why it's such a big deal in the long-term creation of fully self-driving cars. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and leave a like on the video to help get it out to others. And without further ado, let's get started. Full self-driving is perhaps one of the most underrated applications of artificial intelligence in our society today. With so many people owning Teslas and seeing them on the roads, it's amazing just how many people don't realize that we are very close to having fully autonomous cars. I attribute that lack of awareness to a couple things, one of them being Tesla's lack of advertising, another being safety concerns. But regardless, that paradigm shifting technology is still relatively niche. And it's a shame because that technology is both extremely helpful and may one day save thousands of lives on the roads. Right now, if you pay the extra amount on top of your loan, you can have access to Tesla's full self-driving software, which will allow your car to almost perfectly drive itself on just about any major roads. Without going too far into the weeds right now, the way FSD works is essentially like this. Each Hardware 3 car is equipped with 8 cameras providing a 360 degree field of view around the car. As the car is driving, these cameras detect objects and once those objects are identified, the neural network determines how the car should move in response. It does this through a process known as path planning. This involves creating a safe path for the vehicle to follow, considering the positions and likely movements of other objects. After processing the data and deciding on a plan, the FSD computer sends commands to the vehicle's control systems. This includes steering, acceleration, and braking. The computer then executes these commands and it continues to monitor the environment and adjust as necessary. As of right now, FSD has driven more than 150 million miles across the US, and people don't realize just how safe it is. The average Tesla equipped with FSD beta, driven on predominantly non-highway sections of road, crashes 0.31 times per million miles, a dramatic decrease from the average American, who crashes 1.53 times every million miles. That is nearly an 80% reduction in accidents. And I don't know about you guys, but I would much rather trust an AI to drive than most people I see on the roads. So as I've illustrated, FSD is good, but it still isn't complete. And that shift from being incomplete to complete won't be as simple as a single update. The network needs continuous training in order to progressively be made safer and more reliable. And this is where Dojo comes in. Back in 2021, Tesla held their first AI day to showcase different advancements they had made in full self-driving, machine learning techniques, and to introduce perhaps their most ambitious project, the Optimus Robot. However, hidden beneath the media buzz was the unveiling of their new AI training chip and stack which was nicknamed Dojo. As the name implies, Dojo is the best and most advanced AI training computer ever designed. Tesla's motivation for creating Dojo comes from the need to process the massive amounts of video data coming in from their fleet, which it uses to train their neural nets. Right now, they believe they have a hardware bottleneck in processing this vast amount of data. And from this need, Dojo and its insane level of compute was conceived. The team at Tesla weren't satisfied with other HPC or high performance computing options for training, so they decided they could create a better platform. As you saw from Milan, there's an insatiable demand for speed as well as capacity for neural network training. And Elon prefetched this in a few years back he asked us to design a super fast training computer, and that's how we started Project Dojo. And what it aims to do is improve in really six key areas. By addressing various bottlenecks in these areas, Dojo should allow Tesla to take their FSD training to the next level. Those six key areas are speed and efficiency, data handling, simulation capabilities, distributed training, model complexity, and real-time improvements. 
So let's break each of those down. Starting with speed and efficiency. One of the key advantages of Dojo is its sheer amount of processing power. It's built to handle vast amounts of data and perform complex computations at a much faster pace than traditional systems. Dojo is expected to be an exaflop class supercomputer, meaning it can perform a quintillion flops or floating point operations per second. This high processing speed will allow it to execute machine learning tasks more rapidly, leading to shorter turnaround times for the model's training and updates. This is achieved because of a custom chip designed in-house for machine learning workloads and tailored specifically to the FSD network. We have an exapod. This is one exaflop of compute in 10 cabinets. It'll be a fastest AI training computer, 4x the performance at the same cost, 1.3x better performance per watt, that is energy saving, and 5x smaller footprint. This will be Dojo computer. The second area of improvement is in data handling. Tesla's fleet of vehicles generates massive amounts of data, as each car is essentially its own robot gathering data and sending it back to the neural network to further train the fleet, which as of January 2023 was 400,000 vehicles, and Dojo's design is perfectly optimized for handling these large data sets. It employs high-speed interconnects for data transfer between processing units, reducing the bottleneck that's often seen in large-scale machine learning tasks. This architecture enables parallel processing of data and efficient communication between GPUs, which can accelerate the training processes and improve the overall performance of the trained models. The third area of improvement is in model complexity. The additional computational power provided by Dojo enables Tesla to train even more complex models, potentially leading to significant improvements in the FSD system's ability to understand and react to ever more dynamic real-world driving situations. So what do I mean by this? FSD can be finicky, especially around strange or obtuse scenarios such as roundabouts or other less conventionally designed roads. By allowing the model to be trained on more neurons and to find deeper data patterns, such challenges can be overcome more quickly and with more clever decisions made by the car. This extra layer of model complexity will especially be needed to train Optimus to navigate the three-dimensional world, but we'll touch more on that later. The next area is real-time improvements. By accelerating the training process, Dojo could enable Tesla to push improvements to the FSD system more frequently, and this can result in a system that continuously improves over time, adapting to new situations and learning from any mistakes. Tesla already does this with their current system, but with Dojo's enhanced processing power and compute, these updates can more rapidly be pushed out. But there's a loop back. Yeah, yeah, okay. Each of those cars run into trouble mm -hmm. rarely but like they they catch the edge cases of right. the performance of that particular system and then send that data back mm -hmm. and either automatically or by humans that weird edge case data is annotated and then the network has to become smart enough to now be able to perform in those edge cases so it has to get retrained there's clever ways of retraining different parts of that network but for the most part I think they prefer to retrain the entire thing. Mm. So you have this giant monster that kind of has to retra be retrained regularly. The next aspect I want to talk about is Dojo's ability to create simulations to train its system on. Tesla currently uses Unreal Engine to create extremely realistic scenarios in order to train the FSD software within a simulated environment. This was shown off at AI Day 2, and it's some seriously cool stuff. But with Dojo's computational power, they can facilitate more detailed and more realistic simulations of random driving scenarios. This could involve things like more complex traffic situations, various weather conditions, and different geographical locations. As we talked about a minute ago with the more complex models, this is one area where Dojo can improve upon what's already being done at Tesla and help prepare for those increasingly random events that happen every day on the roads. Now the final area of improvement that Dojo will provide that I want to touch on today is distributed training. Distributed training, which is a key capability of Dojo, involves training AI models using multiple GPUs or other hardware devices working in parallel. It achieves this by splitting both the model and data across various GPUs and synchronizing the training throughout the process. In distributed training, effective communication and synchronization between the GPUs or processing units 
are crucial to ensure that the training process remains consistent. Dojo employs high-speed interconnects and efficient communication protocols to enable fast and reliable data exchange between the GPUs. And by leveraging distributed training, Dojo can harness the parallel processing capabilities of multiple GPUs to accelerate the training of neural network models for the FSD system. This allows them once again to lean into that speed and efficiency that we talked about earlier, and cements Dojo as the leader in AI training capabilities. Elon and the team have even floated the idea of offering Dojo as a service to other companies who would want to leverage the system to train their own AI models. And they believe that they could one day compete with Nvidia in this space. And that, if it happens, could be yet another huge catalyst to boost Tesla's market cap. But I'll spare you the investor talk today. As I hope I've illustrated to you in this video, Dojo will be a massive leap forward in capability for Tesla's AI team and provide the upgrade needed to bring full self-driving to its ultimate fruition. Through the capabilities provided, the FSD software will become a robust and truly reliable real-world application of artificial intelligence that can transform one of the biggest areas of our lives. And I for one am extremely excited to experience it. But that's going to do it for the video today guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Are you excited for FSD to become a widespread phenomenon? Or are you nervous for AI to start driving cars? Don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out and I'll catch you in the next one.